pitch. Pine pitch. That's the best fire starter in the world right there. Uh, you can get it. I put it in a cup and uh, take it back to the campfire and put it in a in a tin cup and melt it. Turns to like a, a thick liquid, and then uh, you get small pieces of bark like right here. The uh, the you know comes off with the tree, and uh, oh, no it makes the best fire starter. Pour it all over the you know some bark chips, and uh, makes a really good fire starter. I get it back to the back to the RV. I'll separate the bark from it, the big pieces. That's really fresh right there. It's kind of a red and mushy. Man, it smells so good. Well, the idea of using pine pitch to start a fire has been around for uh, a very long time, as long as I can remember. I remember my uncle showing me uh, how to do that. However, using the egg carton to store it in is, uh, that was somebody else's idea. Her name is, is uh, Survival. Survivor Lily, I believe. I'll have to look it up again. But that's her channel, Survivor, Survival Lily. Uh, she's uh, European, and she has a, a pretty cool channel, all about survival tricks. So we're going to try this out and see if it works. I'm sure it works, because <laughs> I saw it. Using just a plain old cigarette lighter. There we go. It burns for a long time, so you at least get started on it anyway. <clears throat> As opposed to pine needles, pine needles burn quickly. If you're lucky, you'll get some, you know, some damp wood started, but usually not. Get that pitch on your hands. <laughs> Takes a week to get it off. <clears throat> Seared hot dogs in an open campfire. How's that?